Have you ever wondered why men and women seem to process emotions differently? What if we told you that science has begun to unravel this mystery? Yes, it's true. The world of neuroscience has made some fascinating discoveries in recent years about the differences in emotional processing between genders. Our story begins in a bustling research laboratory, where a dedicated team of scientists led by Adriana Mendrek has been delving into the intricate workings of the human brain. Using Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, or fMRI, they've been able to map out how our brains react to emotional stimuli. Their findings have been groundbreaking, shedding light on the neural pathways that govern our responses to fear, joy, and everything in between. The team's work has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of mental health and pave the way for innovative treatments. As the researchers analyze the data from their latest experiments, a sense of excitement fills the air. Each new discovery brings them closer to unraveling the mysteries of the mind and unlocking the secrets of human behavior. Their findings? Men and women's brains respond in distinct ways. In men, the dorsomedial prefrontal cortex and amygdala, two regions of the brain involved in emotional processing, show a stronger connection. This suggests that men tend to take a more analytical approach to negative emotions. Co-researcher Stéphane Potvin muses that this heightened connectivity might mean men process emotions with a focus on analysis rather than visceral reaction. But what about women? Well, women's brains display greater emotional reactivity. This is driven by a robust response from the limbic system, the part of the brain responsible for emotional life and memory. It seems that hormonal influences also play a significant role. So what does this mean? It means that biology and culture intertwine to shape our emotional experiences in complex ways. It also implies that men and women may have evolved different strategies for processing emotions, each with its own strengths. But remember, these are general trends and individual differences abound. While these findings are fascinating, they are just the beginning. They open the door to further exploration of how hormones and other factors modulate our responses to emotional stimuli. In summary, neuroscience is beginning to shed light on the subtle differences in emotional processing between men and women. These insights could have far-reaching implications, from improving mental health treatments to fostering better communication between genders. So, the next time you notice a difference in emotional responses, remember it might just be your brain at work.